These techniques may not stand out at first glance. Most people would even notice them individually. But the impact they make? That's where the magic is. Subtle choices that can transform the entire look and feel, creating something unforgettable. Let's dive in and explore the art of details that make a difference. So let's break down the steps of achieving that in Premiere Pro. Before we jump into grading, make sure your project is set up correctly, import your footage and create a new sequence. It's always a good idea to work with high quality footage to get the best results. After creating the new sequence, we are gonna create a new adjustment layer and add it to our timeline. Then, in case you don't have the Lumetri color on the left side of Adobe Premiere Pro, you can go to Window and make sure Lumetri color is selected. Or rather, you can go to Workspace and make sure you have selected color. After that, let's go to the basic correction. And here, we're gonna start by tweaking the highlights. Therefore, we're gonna be reducing the highlights a little bit, reducing the shadows. Let's check the before and after. Then, we're gonna reduce the whites just a little bit and reduce a little bit of black. Let's go to the creative and add a little bit of saturation. Let's say to 119. Next, we jump to curves, where we're gonna be creating three points. One on the shadows, one on the midtones, and one on the highlights. We are trying to create the S shape. And as you can see, we have the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. Let's start with the highlights. We're gonna tweak it a little bit. Try to create the S shape, then go to the shadows. Tweak it a little bit. Yeah. And as you can see, we already have some, quite some details popping. The curve tool lets you control the brightness and contrast of your image by adjusting highlights, midtones, and shadows. Simply click and drag points on the curve to either lighten or darken specific parts of your image. For more precision, you can use the RGB curves to tweak individual color channels, giving you full control over the look and feel of your footage. The S-curve we are trying to create is a popular technique in color grading to enhance contrast. By creating an S-shape in the curve tool, you brighten the highlights and deepen the shadows, giving your image a punchy look. Simply pull the curve in the highlights and pull it down on the shadows. This adds depth and makes your footage pop without overdoing it. And after we're done with that, we're gonna jump to hue versus saturation, where we're gonna be boosting some colors and making them pop. I'll start with the oranges, make them pop a little bit, then the greens, make them pop a little bit for that plant in the background, and the blues, which are gonna affect the mid-tone area of our footage.
and as you can see on my workspace I'm working on the Rec 709 color space that's something to note Now let's jump to the color wheels and match where we're gonna be giving our footage that dramatic cinematic look and here I'm gonna start with the midtones and then the shadows then after we're gonna do the highlights color wheels in Premiere Pro give you control over shadows midtones and highlights allowing you to adjust the color balance and overall tone of your footage by moving each wheel you can shift the colors in specific areas for example, warming up the highlights or cooling down the shadows. It's a quick way to make precise color adjustments and enhance the mood of your videos. the before and after and as you can see that cinematic color is starting to come through okay after that we're gonna add a new adjustment layer drag it to our timeline we're gonna go back to the basic correction and go to temperature add a little bit of warmth to our footage then a little bit more saturation you can see the before and after after that we're gonna go to the creative panel and add a look to our footage i'm going for the sl neutral start reduce its, its intensity a little bit we're doing something we're heading somewhere so these come pre-installed in Premiere Pro we make the intensity at 60% you can see the before and after let's go back to the basic correction and reduce the saturation to 140 from 145 remember we don't want to overdo it or anything so that's about it if you found this video informative or you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the like button and be sure to help the channel reach the goal of 500 subscribers by the end of next month Let's go.